Today we're working on a found objects composition. I've gathered different objects from around the house and we're going to form a composition. So I have a Sharpie and I have one of my first found objects and it is the lid to a coffee can. So I'm going to set it down where I can trace it. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use a pencil and an eraser and then Sharpie or you can go straight to Sharpie. We're just doing this for fun. The object of this exercise is to overlap your geometric figures. Now I've got a luggage tag and I'm going to overlap this and trace around it. Now when you go around the house gathering your found objects you probably want to do this with your grown-up because no one needs to help mom or dad or grandma lose their car keys. No one needs to run off with the kitty cat's collar. I've got a thimble here. And you probably don't want to draw on objects with a sharpie by accident like the remote or something like that. So be careful, have fun, but get your permission from your grown-up before you start gathering your found objects. Okay, like I said, here's my iPod. I'm gonna be really careful about that, my old iPod. And I'm gonna trace around it and it slid, so I need to go back and fix that. But I don't want to draw on it. So let's not do objects that are going to get us in trouble later. Okay, I've got a spool of thread. Now, this one's easier to draw standing up. It gives me some different dimension compared to the small circle I got with a thimble and the large circle I got with the coffee can lid. And what else could I use? Let me trace this box. Nice rectangular shape. Okay, now we've got a great start for our composition. Oh, I forgot, I even have some keys. Maybe I could trace some keys. That might be fun. Now don't run off with the keys. You might need to go to the store. You don't want to run off with someone's keys. If you take it, put it back, but make sure your grown-up knows you took it. There's a key. Now let me put a key over here. Are they going to be perfect? No. Is that okay? Of course. Do your best. Okay. Now you can add lots and lots of shapes to your composition, but the fun part is every time you cross a boundary or a line, change the color. So if I'm coloring this circle that I traced, I'm only going that far with it. Now. This one, I think I will change it to purple. And let's say another color that looks good with blue and purple. Let's see. I might use green. Yeah, that looks nice. Take care of your edges. Take your time. You can create any number of found objects compositions. You might even try to use your found objects and build a house. If I had a triangle that I could trace, I could use my rectangle shape and build a found objects house. Um, with all these circles, I could do an underwater scene. I could do found objects ocean scene and have the bubbles from underwater lots of ways we could go. I could use these circles and maybe put them on a rectangle and build a car. Lots of things I can do with a found objects composition. So as you can see, this has any number of possibilities. Just give it a little thought. Gather your pieces. 
get permission from your grown-up. Make good use of your space with your Found Objects Geometry Challenge. Mm -hmm.